U.S. war plan. I want to acknowledge the, the, the joy here of people 10 years into this war still mustering nonviolent resistance to it. But I also want to acknowledge the trauma that is here. Uh, there are many men at this base who have lost friends in both Afghanistan and Iraq and have had friends severely wounded who may never walk again, who may never talk again. So there's a real mixture of joy and sadness here. And I've tried to reassure one of them who is upset with us and uh, the trauma people have been through. And personally, um, a friend of mine is Rose Gentle, whose son Gordon was taken off the dole queue in Glasgow and sent to Iraq and was killed quite quickly after arriving there. Also, Sydney Sheen is a friend. Her son Casey Sheen went through Shannon Airport to his death in Iraq. And I know those two mothers would want us here today doing what we're doing here today. I also acknowledge that I've never uh, been in a war. Um, I grew up on the second largest, back of the second largest army going to Afghanistan and Iraq. My mother had three uncles who went through Gallipoli Barracks. It wasn't called Gallipoli Barracks, of course, in World War I. Um, and ended up at Gallipoli. Uh, so that trauma is passed down in my family. Also, I want to acknowledge uh, Scott here is holding the megaphone, a former member of the US Air Force, uh, who dealt with F-111s here in England. Also, John, um, who is in the British Army. He's 80 years of age now, nearly down in front of the gates. Um, also, another friend who's a combat veteran of another war in another place. has been to prison for their non-violent resistance, and we got a bit of the taste of, of, of uh, living with veterans uh, in the United States and, and Britain, Australia, Ireland of various wars. And we often serve veterans in soup kitchens and homeless shelters that we run as Catholic workers. Um, so I'd like to conclude uh, before advancing into the base. Decided not to jump in the lake here. Um, uh, reading the statement from my intent today. I come here and we come here this morning, the day after the feast of Jesus. We also remember an innocent, all, the, all innocent victims of war, cynically defined by our government as collateral damage, especially those in the current war in Afghanistan. We repent the actions of our own government that have resulted in such deaths. We come in a spirit of repentance too for our own failure to live according to the teachings of Jesus, our friend and our brother. We pray for all victims of war, civilian and military and for those whose lives have been shattered by the violence in our world and by the policies of, the government, of our governments. We are inspired by the non-violent resistance emerging from within the British and the US military. We celebrate the courage of Joe Glenton, of Jimmy Massey, of Joshua Castile and many others in the United States. Joe Glenton who went to a Colchester prison rather than to redeploy to Afghanistan. We pray for Private Bradley Manning presently imprisoned, held in torturous conditions in the United States, accused of exposing the massacre of children, parents and journalists by a U.S. helicopter gunship attack in Iraq. We pray for most, most of the men who joined the military here joined to defend their country, not to attack other countries. Our belief in non-violent ways of ending conflict is rooted in Jesus' message of love and non-violence that is proclaimed in his gospel. Love one another. Another. Thank you. Mm-hmm.